Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Ryan's Weekly Barbecue. Kind of been out of the scene for, I don't know, better part of a month or so. We've uh, had some things going on uh, with the boys in the hospital and renovations. Just been a crazy summer, I know, for all of you really, and you know, hear us at the house as well. We're back here, we're gonna be doing a little bit of chicken legs. Uh, cooking them pretty early in the day just because the boys got football practice here soon. So all we're going to be doing right here is some Heritage Farm chicken drumsticks. We got the charcoal chitin going on over there. We're going to be using Old Faithful over here as I like to call her. Just a little cheapo that I got from Lowe's roughly about two years ago. But uh, alright, let's get to getting these drumsticks open and season them up and on the grill. Alright, it's nothing too fancy here. We're just going to pop this open. He's been dethawing now for the better part of three, four days. Garage fridge has been acting kind of funny, so I guess we'll find out if any of this is still a little bit frozen or not. <laughs> right off the bat, still a little bit of frost on them. Not much. Although I might be wrong, they're still sticking together. That's fine though, because I'm going to put these in the indirect heat to start off with, which will also kind of help thaw them out a little bit. Kind of break them all apart right now. Smaller ones like this, they'll cook a lot faster. All right. All right, got the plate. We're gonna be hitting them up with a few different seasonings. Don't know which order I'm gonna be doing. We got kicking chicken seasonings from Weber. The good old Jack Daniels chicken rub that the family enjoys. I enjoy putting some Creole on there. We're going to start off with Jack Daniels Chicken Rub. Pretty good stuff. I'm just doing them right all over all the others. Just because, well, hell, plan on putting them on damn near all of them. So, less, less wasted seasoning as well. Go as heavy, as light as you like on your seasonings. Most of these are just going to be grilled. I'll be doing some barbecue sauce on just a few of them. Kids discovered that they really don't care for the barbecue on their chicken legs, but they like it on everything else. So I, well, to each their own, I guess. I'm quick, knock these out.
All right, guys. Got a couple of wood chunks down in there. Do you believe I have apple and cherry chunks sitting in there? Right now, we're just going to place these out of the way from them a little bit. Even utilize the space over here. Got quite a few chicken legs. So that's how we're gonna have them for a little bit, and then uh, I'll come back out here in probably about 20 minutes. Start to do a little bit of direct cooking. We like the skin a little bit crispy around here, so that's how we're going to do it. See you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, we're working on a little over 10 minutes. These guys hanging out. See that wood is in there. And again, some heat. I don't want to do too much direct quite yet. Right, again, some grill marks. Let's get these guys just a smidge closer, not much. I'm going to let them go about another hmm, five, ten minutes. Then we'll take a little temperature check. I'll show you guys. Picked up this nifty little thermal pen. That's the name brand of it up there. I'll show you, how to get the focus. Different kind of meats and different temperatures, just uh, in case you forget. Actually, do this. It actually turns this on as you pull it out. It does it pretty quick, giving you temperature. Uh, we're sitting at just at about 100 degrees on some of these, at least that one. Kicking 113. We got a ways to go yet. I can feel how the skin's already getting a little crispy on. I love that. Check one over here, maybe. Woo, my hand's right above that heat. That was hot. Woo, buddy. All right. The sun kind of gives you a different look. How they look in the sun, how they look in the shade. So. And get this lid closed we'll let them go a little bit longer all right so we're 20 minutes into these chicken legs looking mighty good maybe give them a little quarter turn maybe how about that make sure all ooh I'll be careful Maybe that one don't want to do a quarter turn. Who knows? Well, let's do one here. A little turn there. Alright, that one don't want to either. That's alright. And I got it hot. It Yo. It smells good. Damn right it does. Ooh, we're already kicking up 162, 163 on that. Over there. A little bit cooler over here. We're in the 130s. What we'll slowly start to do. All these that are getting already checking at 170-ish, 160. We'll start to move over to the other side. That way they can at least keep warm. So that's what we're going to do. So, uh, so just a little something I enjoy doing here. Add all these, they're all done looking really good. Boys will be fully grateful of making a big old pile of chicken legs over here. That's how I like to do them. That's that's a good view on it with the sun hitting right there, just that nice glaze of barbecue sauce on it. I might even you know what, let's be a dad. Pull one more over, slather that guy up too. I'm putting them back on the indirect heat 
when I do this, just because I want that barbecue sauce just to tack up a little bit. My dog's chewing on sticks over there, that's great. I'm just going to pour it right on there. Just look how it gets that color on it. Love it. Grab the tongs here. Do a little flip. Throw a little bit more in her. Do a little brush. Not too much. That's how I like them. So I'm going to let those sit on there for roughly 5-10 minutes. We're going to pull both these stacks off and get to eating. Total time to cook all that was roughly maybe a half hour pushing 45 minutes or so just because I did a little bit of indirect at the beginning a little bit of indirect at the end so ain't no harm no foul on that they did turn out phenomenal let me go ahead and give you a glance what we got going on there good old chicken legs looking really good still very very juicy and uh, I think it's time we try one of these Kind of breaks you right now just because they're so day gum hot. You might have to do a take two on this. Woo! Very juicy still. Very, very juicy. Um the barbecue sauce, just a light glaze on it, get that little bit of a tacky feel and that taste. A little bit of caramelization with the barbecue sauce on it, which is great. A little bit of char on the skin, just how I like it. We like mm, the skin just a little bit crispier here. So, it turned out great. I'm glad I got the food done. That way I can get the kids to their practices tonight. Other than that, hopefully stay tuned. We'll do some more here very, very soon for you guys. Sorry about the huge delay. Like I said, I know it's been a crazy summer for everyone, including you guys and me. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and dig in a little bit more before we have to head out. See you guys next time. Later.